Looks like I got a really bad spray tan. Next in the Glam Lab, I'm going to check out a rubber face mask. They've been huge in Europe and Asia, and about a year ago, they became really popular in the States. Rubber is a very thick texture. Therefore, it's going to trap in the nutrients. It's going to push whatever is in that mask further into your dermis, further into your skin. I'm trying out one from Skin Iceland. I like this brand a lot, and they're really affordable. Their rubber mask is packed with vitamin C. Vitamin C for the skin is helping to boost your collagen. I have a wedding tomorrow and I'll be putting on a full face of makeup so I thought why not try one of these masks and have a very glowy dewy look prior to even having to put on my makeup. Stay away from your eyebrows. Feels very cooling. Oh. Clearly a first timer over here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Clearly I don't know where my eyebrows are because I keep going right through them. Yikes. This is a mess. Now it's in my hair. Now it's in my mouth. I can really feel it coating on, making that thick barrier. This seems good enough for me. You can really see it's rubbery. So now you just peel it off. That's a nice look, huh? My face feels great. It feels really hydrated. I'm excited to see if there's gonna be a difference tomorrow morning. I just woke up after doing the rubberizing mask. Still pulling some pieces of it off. The first thing I did notice was my skin does have a really nice glow to it. However, I did notice my pores look a little bigger than usual. So for the point I was putting it on to tighten up my face, to put on a full face of makeup, it's really not a good idea. But if you're looking for a nice little natural glow, this is a great mask to do. So, both, both. 